Hello and welcome back to Giant Machines 2017. I'm Wicca from Honeybunny Games, and in the last episode, uh, we encountered a little bug with the excavator. Is that it? I think it is. Um, but anyway, I went to do that off camera, and as soon as I finished it, uh, actually, that was the last part of the mission. So, yeah. And I have to say, it was like fourth try, because same thing happened again. Actually, no, no, no. First, uh, first my cutter thing kind of went haywire into the sky, and yeah, everything went to hell. Then, um, then same thing happened that happened on the camera, and the last time, actually, that's not the last time. And the another screw up was I died in a dumb way. I got the uh, the achievement progress, but anyway, when I respawned in the uh, cutter thingy. It was uh, flying into the air and machine broken and stuff, but yeah, I managed to do it, pull it off, and now we are at the last mission. I think that's the last mission. So do or die, partner. The last step requires to transport the shuttle to the launch pad. Drive with caution, do not drop the cargo. Well, do. Uh, oh yeah, I should probably use the, the gamepad for this thing. So, oh. Handbrake. Okay, why is the checkpoint so freaking close? I don't like that. I don't like that. Why is the checkpoint so close? Something is definitely up. Something is up. And that's not gonna end well. Okay, let's go in the first person. Hello, my little toesy tug something. Uh, okay, yeah, I definitely don't like this thing. Where's the launch pad? I think that's over there. Yeah, probably. No, oh, I, I can bet there's gonna be something else, not just drive and complete it. There's gonna be a screw up somewhere along the way. Yeah, gonna slow. Okay, reach the hill. Oh, so this is a hill. That makes freaking sense. No. Yeah, I have to raise the back. Right? I think so. Okay, let's be careful not to hit the curb. I'm gonna release some pressure. Okay, this is starting to kind of rise drastically. Oh shit, is the radio on? Okay, let's turn on the radio. Okay, the curb is looking good. I'm just gonna slow a bit to the left. Release some pressure. And back to the right a bit. I'm actually just gonna keep it like this. Maybe it tiny, it a bit. Oh boy. Freaking hell, come on. This is gonna take us a while. Oh boy. But I like how this big is. I love it. I freaking love it. I'm actually wondering if something like this is operated by one man. I mean, I know about the like, uh, uh, like the bulldozer and stuff like that. That's always operated by one guy. But something like this, I know I'm probably they probably have like uh, all this um, helper on the sides, like uh, go left, don't hit the curb, or something like that. I'm wondering if. If they have help like with the with the angles and stuff like that. Look at this beauty. Massa. <laughs> Copyright stuff. My turn binds are spinning. Everything is spinning. I'm driving. Woo! Reach the hill, come on. Yeah, I could go a bit to the right now. And I'm gonna start reaching this thing, so I should probably start lowering it down. Uh, 
Okay, don't break there. Come on, super game. Okay, I'm a bit too fast. Pressure low is too high. There we go. I am freaking safe. Am I? Am I safe? Oh, you know what? You have to go a bit to the right. Because this should probably sit on all platforms. I don't want to mess it like here because when I'm gonna go back and forth to kind of park it as I'm supposed to, I'm definitely gonna screw something up. A bit more to the right. Probably zoom out a bit. Oh, actually, it's... Oh, I have to go back a bit. Overshoot it. Handbrake. And... Good, we are on the spot. Lower the mobile launcher platform to finish docking the shuttle. What? Dock the platform. Um, okay. I'm gonna exit this thing. Where is this guy? Where is this little thingy? Oh, no. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, okay. Oh, it's on top of me. It's on top of me. Um, okay, I have a good question. How the hell do you get on top? How the freaking hell do you get up there? I know I kind of went over this guy all the way around. And maybe, maybe it's actually somewhere else. Maybe it's like... Maybe it's... Uh, yeah, maybe it's somewhere else. Huh. How the hell do I get up there? Oh, I can see the, 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 the like, the platform thing. Oh, maybe it's something around here. Let's, let's check it out. Let's check that out and... Oh my god, did I miss the stairs again? Oh, sh I'm so freaking stupid. Okay, if we go to the back of this thing... Um, yeah, <laughs> not here. Maybe something in here? Of course not. Of course freaking not. Um, yeah, so how do you get up there? Wait, do I have to? Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Am I that stupid? We're on the spot. Lower the mobile platform. Wait a minute. Lower the mobile platform? No, no, I didn't want to get down. Maybe I do this from the inside the the, the thing. Come on, get in. Okay, controls. Um yeah. Hmm. Oh I should probably start the engine. Oh, I just had to lower it down, but it was already lowered down. God damn it. The crow transport is not disposed of after one use. Move it to save distance before the launch. Ah, seriously. That's gonna take us quite some time. Where is the handbrake? Yeah, obviously. So I just had to, like, move the platform down for teensy tiny amount. That was, that was... Very dumb of me, but yeah, I was I did kinda lose a few seconds there being stupid. Oh my god, this is gonna take a while to get back, so I probably gonna skip this, so we will see you. I will see you. Uh after I'm out. Okay, I'm back and yep. Now you can use Dark ZMT Toe and go to the safe observation point. Oh stop. Stop, 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 turn off the engine, turn off everything, get out, get it to the Tax GM tow. Tax G, Tax G. So basically, we're gonna launch this thing.
Drive to the observation point. Okay. Hope that's not too far away. Uh, I suppose I'm supposed to follow this road. Look at our beautiful rocket out there being so nice and yeah. Look at our little beauty. We made that. We made that from scratch with lots of skip steps. But yeah, we kind of made that. <laughs> I'm like, can you imagine? Uh, playing Kerbal Space Program like this, like you had to mine all the research to create a rocket, then then use the crane to attach the 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 stuff on the rocket. Oh my God, that would take forever, kinda. Seriously, that little puny tower is the observation point. NASA, or as you sh as you say, you should say NASA, has like. I know what kind of big budget to make transportation mm, stuff to go to the other planets and they have observation point on a water tank. Oh well, that's fine by me. I kind of want to go on a curb, don't want to stay on the road, but yeah, that's obviously not going to be the case. So yeah, let's climb up here. Hello, water tower. Is our mission over? Is our mission over? Let's keep our fingers crossed for the successful start. Oh, it's a cinematic! Achievement unlock, Rocket Man! There we go! Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Take off! We made this! We fucking made this! We made this happen! Oh, for goes our rocket! Those boosters! I installed those boosters! And off it goes. And that's it for the for this episode and for the game, obviously. So yeah, it took us like what 17 episodes to finish this thing? Mm, that's that's pretty darn good, I think. Okay, the loading screen is a bit long, but yeah, that's it. That's the credits. So Giant Machines 2017, that was it for the game. That was it from me, Wicked from Honey Bunny Games. Uh, there won't be next time, obviously, but I do have some other simulator plans, so stay tuned to watch those episodes. But anyway, this is it, so thank you guys for watching, please subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and not gonna see you next time.